What's going on everyone, my name is Suboptimal and I'm just a typical Indian guy making videos about web development and productivity. In this video, I'll help you add ligatures into your coding setup on Visual Studio Code if you're using Mac OS. A ligature is a special character that combines two or sometimes three characters into a single character. So if you've ever done programming, then I'm sure you've seen this before. You've done equal equal, not equal, equal 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 so the triple equals things like that right and so when you are coding like this it kind of looks weird when you're looking at it in your code editor it looks something like this or maybe you have a gray than or equal to sign which looks like this but you probably want it to look more like this so when you're programming your code looks a lot cleaner and so here are some quick ligatures that you could see right you got some double equals here you got not equals you got triple equals things like that and before we get started i'm just going to ask for one small favor from you guys that is to leave a like for the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this with that out of the way let's jump right in so the first thing you got to actually do to have ligatures working inside of mac os is you're going to need to download them so in order to install them there are some special docs that the person uh, set up and so all you got to do is run these two commands on your mac terminal so brew tap homebrew forward slash cask fonts and then you install the font fira code ligatures so let me just do that real quick so i'm going to do brew tap this whatever this first command does um, and it's just going to take a while. I already installed it, so it might even say that there's nothing to do. So let's see what happens when I run these two things, right? Yeah, so I ran this and it basically says it's already installed. So now if you have your editor open, all you got to do is tell VS Code to use the Fira code. I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce it, but tell VS Code to use Fira code. So let's see how we do that. Now you're gonna have to open your settings.json file. You can do that by pressing command shift P, open settings.json, and you can go to the bottom of whatever your settings are. All you do is go to the editor and you can start typing like this. You can say editor, and if you have IntelliSense enabled, you should start seeing these suggestions. And you can just go to font family, and you'll notice that by default it has, you know, these fonts but what you want to do is change that you want to change that to be fira code so let me just delete that and say fira code now then you should see a minor font change it is possible that you would see something very random and that thing could look like this let me show you guys so it could be possible that if you change fira code then you might see a font like this if you see this, that just means that VS Code needs to be restarted. Basically, VS Code thinks that the font Fira Code doesn't exist on your computer, but it does because you just downloaded it. If you see your font become something weird like this, then what you probably want to do is just restart your VS Code. But in my case, you'll notice that it works because the font doesn't look completely weird. So now all that's left to do is to enable ligatures. Now, enabling ligatures is really straightforward. You can just set editor.fontligatures to true. And once you save that, you should notice that things that can be combined get combined. So let me save that, and you guys should see that this updates to look uh, clean as is. So let me just zoom in real quick. So yeah, you'll notice here that if I toggle this off and I save the file, that these things are not combined. But if I toggle it true and I save the file, you should notice that you know we got the ligatures enabled. Now, the last thing I want to leave you guys off with is this one VS Code extension that is very useful, and that is turning off ligatures when you are hovering over that specific ligature. When you are hovering over a ligature, you generally don't want it to be combined, right? You want to be able to edit it. And it's it's pretty hard to do that if it's completely combined as your cursor is on it. So there's this nice little VS Code extension that allows you to disable ligatures when you're hovering over them. All you do is you go to the extensions marketplace, which you can get to by pressing Command Shift X on Mac and just search disable ligatures. So this is that extension and you can just install it. And once you install it, it should be working uh, straight out of the box. You can just you know hover over to specific like a triple equals and you'll notice that when you hover over it it's going to disable the ligature on it so you can easily edit 
it. And then once you move away, it's going to enable the ligatures again. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys were able to set up Fira code in Visual Studio Code on Mac OS and get these beautiful ligatures that you always see on stream that you always see other YouTubers use in their VS Code setups. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe and share and comment and all those other things. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.